All right, y'all, guess what? It is that time again. I've got some of my used signed tarot decks on eBay. For those of you who are new to my channel, I do this at least once a year. Um, this will be the second time this year that I've done this, though. Um, the last time I did this, we were having to get rid of stuff uh, because we were moving here to Southern California. Uh, now, though, uh, I'm doing this simply because I don't have room <laughs> to keep all my tarot decks. In Las Vegas, my home studio was about three times the size of this little studio here. So I had plenty of room in my closet for them to stack up. And now I just don't really have room for anything in this little studio here. So they're starting to stack up on me. And it's time for me to retire a few tarot decks. So these are actually in better shape than they normally are when I get rid of my decks. Normally I do it when they just start wearing out and they become difficult for me to shuffle because I have a certain shuffling style that's really aggressive. And, you know, whenever they become difficult for me to shuffle with my style of shuffling, that's usually when I get rid of them. But that's not the case this time. So these are actually in better shape than they normally are. Starting off here, <clears throat> I have this classic tarot deck here that's a Rider weight deck, but it's a really cool, really cool Rider weight deck because of the artwork. If you can see that, it's like totally new, crisp, like digitally remastered Rider weight. I love this deck. I do love it. I do have another copy of this deck though. The only thing is it has a different design on the back. This one here is like the classic marble design on the back. I do have another copy with this exact same artwork with a different design on the back because I, I love this one. You all know I am a avid Rider weight fan. So any deck that I use 95% of the time is either going to be Rider weight or Rider weight based. So you look at that three of swords. Isn't that artwork amazing? new digitally remastered look at that page of cups i love it so yeah that's the first one also this one here is kind of important to me i always like to make it a point to get a copy of this this is the new paladini tarot and i'll tell you why this is important to me because when i very first started seeing YouTube tarot card readings being recommended to me in my feed, in my YouTube feed, I thought it was the dumbest thing I had ever seen. <laughs> I wouldn't watch them for the longest time. For probably two or three months, I would scroll past those videos thinking, that is so dumb. Who would watch that? But I started noticing, man, lots of people are watching these videos. So finally, after two or three months of me scrolling past YouTube uh, tarot videos, I clicked on one. And this deck was the deck the reader was using. It was a reader uh, by the name of Carol's Universe. Not 100% sure if she's still reading tarot on YouTube, but the very first tarot card reading I ever clicked on, this deck was being used. And it's Rider weight based. If you can see, the Eight of Swords is very Rider weighty. Four of Pentacles. Again, it's not exactly the Rider weight, but it's very Rider weight based. You know, if you know anything about the tarot, you could glance at these cards. If you're familiar with the Rider weight, Five of Swords, and be able to tell that, you know, that's the Page of Cups. That's very obviously the Three of Swords. That there is the Nine of Wands, obviously. All of these cards have been used on video pretty much all year in 2023. When we first made the move here to Southern California, I made the decision to get rid of a lot of those decks. You remember that? And I got all new ones. And this is one of the ones that I grabbed. So this is, I've been using this one pretty much all year long. I guarantee you almost any tarot video of mine that you click on from this past year of 2023 while we were here in Southern California I more than likely use this deck on video. So, and again, it's in pretty decent shape. Um, I've just had to go through because my decks are starting to pile up now and I'm having to pick any, meeny, miny, mo. which ones do I want to get rid of, you know? So, yep, new Paladini Tarot. 
Now, this next one, this next one is not really all that rider weight based, but I do dig it. It's very rare, very rare that I deviate away from the rider weight like drastically. There's only a couple of decks that I will, you know, deviate away from rider weight with. And this is one of them. It is the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot. And it's interesting. It's got the crows with the eyeball in their mouth, the raven rather. And yeah, this one, see, that's the Ten of Pentacles there. So that, again, as you can see, this is not very rider weight based at all. The death card, as you can see, not very rider weight based. Knight of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. These, you know what these remind me of? They remind me of the, that little thing on Aladdin. Remember Aladdin where it was like the little beetle that, that the two halves of the beetle that were like the puzzle piece? That's what, every time I see this, that's what that reminds me of. <laughs> but yeah, but for some strange reason, Six of Wands, again, not Rider weight based at all. Like some of these, the Magician is pretty cool, though, actually. That one's actually pretty cool. It's got the Raven there. It's kind of sort of similar to the Rider weight. You can see that the Infinity symbol up there above the, the Raven's head. Four of Cups, what in the world? It looks like this dude's in a therapy session. Normally... Normally, a deck that deviates this far away from the rider weight, I probably won't mess with it at all. Okay. Uh, but for some reason, for some reason, I, I saw this deck at... David had a copy of this deck that he had at the High Vibe Studios. And I picked it up and I was playing with it and flipping through it. And I was like, you know what? I can rock with that. You know, so I've been using this for the past several months on video. Uh, guarantee you, almost any video that you click on from the past six months or so, you've seen me use this deck. And again, it comes with the guidebook as well. And the last one. This actually is one of the ones that I bought to make my transition here to Southern California. Tarot Decoratif. So this one's interesting. Uh, I believe it's French, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's not in English. It is French. But Ciro Marchetti is the artist who did the artwork. And for those of you who know anything about Ciro Marchetti, that he's the one that did the, uh, the Gilded Tarot, the Gilded Tarot Royale. He's also the... And it's very, very similar to one that you all see me use a lot here, the Tarot Grand Lux. Very, very, very similar to this. Um, amazing artwork, my favorite tarot artist. You can see the Six of Cups right there, but as you can see, I believe that's French. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you see, it's like, however you pronounce that, I'm not 100% sure. And we have the Nine of Wands, but again, it's written in French. Four of Pentacles written in French. So really beautiful artwork. Amazing stuff. Ace of Swords there. And obviously we have the moon card here. Again, it's all written in French, but very, very beautiful artwork. Uh, and this comes with the guidebook as well. So it was time. I just felt energetically it was time for me to part ways with this one. Not in horrible shape. Still shuffles pretty good. Again, I'm just starting to, my decks are starting to pile up over here. I have 20 tarot decks on my table and about 15 of them off my table, stacked up in my closet and over here off to the side on the floor. So it's time for me to start downsizing a few of them. So I know that it's very, very common for me to get a message in my inbox asking when I'm going to put more decks on eBay. And I only do that maybe once or twice a year. So all the links, the eBay links for these are in the description of this video. All right, I'm out of here now, y'all. Just wanted to let you in on that. Y'all have a good day.